Welcome everybody to Play Well Live. Ben here, and we've got a really fun day today. And this is going to be, this has really been inspired by, by Mike's post yesterday. If you didn't see it, you've got to go check it out. Yesterday, Mike did some music with us. He made some stringed instruments using Lego and rubber bands, and he made some little ukuleles, and he made, um, even like a full, it looked like a mint, like a guitar, which was pretty amazing that had worm gear tuners and everything like that. And he talked to us a lot about music. He talked to us about how sound is vibration and just a little bit about how you can, you can change the, the, the length of the, of the string by, by hitting different frets and to allow that sound to vibrate in and make different tones. And it was, it was a pretty inspiring post for me. So if you haven't seen it, I really suggest you go back and watch it from yesterday. So what I thought we would do is we are going to do some drumming today. We're going to do some Lego drumming because I felt like Mike needed a little percussion to accompany him. And until we can get in the same room and jam together, we're going to do it this way. We're going to jam virtually like this. And hopefully you all out there, we would love to see some posts of you making Lego instruments. You could make Lego ukuleles or, or guitars like Mike showed you, or today we can make some drums and some percussion instruments, and then we wanna see some videos of what you're able to do, and then maybe we can put our, our rhythms together and, and have a virtual jam session, which would be pretty cool. Now, percussion. This is like any, any rhythm, this is like the backbone of any song. So with drumming, You've got different, you've got different surfaces that you can hit on. These are just my plates. And you can hear, you can hear that different plates might make some different sounds, but not a lot is happening right here. It's kind of like when Mike first made his little thing, which is the, the rubber band, and there was nothing to resonate the sound. You can't really hear, there's a little bit of difference between the different sizes, but not a whole lot. And so we need to figure out first how we're gonna make our drums, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a really cool rhythm machine, where you can kind of draw your own rhythm, your own beat out of Lego, and experiment with it, and listen to it, which is pretty, pretty cool. So. First of all, I'm going to fix my mallets a little bit. I've got these Technic beams. You can use any kinds of beams that you want, but I'm just going to stick some rubber tires in. And these I just am sticking together with a little friction pin. So now I have, instead of that hard sound, I have a little, I can have a little bit of a rubber sound. So it's not as sharp. I'm going to do that on both of these. I've got a different size tires and we'll see what they do. Now, obviously this is not going to do it. So we need some resonation. Kind of like when Mike was talking about the tissue box guitars or ukuleles, we, we, what we want to do is we want to make these bigger. So what we did, and thank you to my daughter, Ama, who helped me, and my son, Otto, who helped me build these up a little bit. We took one of these big plates like this. These are basically going to be like our skin. You know, with real drums, there's actually a skin that's stretched tight. Now with Lego, we're going to try to do it with plates. If you don't have big plates, you can do similar things with smaller plates, and I'll show you how that works. So with this, we basically built this structure, an overlapping structure going up like this, and then you can see it tapers in just a little bit, kind of like a vase. And so now you can see, instead of sounding like this, we are sounding like this. Whoa, that is much better. And now obviously different size drums are gonna do different things. So now we've got an eight by 16 plate and this one we built up with one by plates. And again, overlapping and just kind of playing with what, how, how high or how tall you want this thing to be. And then we've got a different sound. So it's kind of like a wood block sound a little bit. And if you have both of them together, you can see, let me see if I can hold them here. So you get some different sounds depending on these. Now, you can see, depending on if you want to taper them, how big you go, whatever you want to do, that's fine. The big trick to this is to really 
tighten these down because when you tighten them down, it kind of, it's the best you can do in, in the Lego world of tightening your drum skin. So you can see I made a mega drum right here that my kids, hi Alma, hi Otto, love you guys. And this is what they helped me build, this mega one using a base plate. And you can see this one, I've got, if I push this really tight, and this one kind of works with this big mallet. Oh. Yeah, now we got a big rhythm going. So we've got three different sounds by different shapes and different size skins. Now, here's something that I found that was kind of interesting. If I took these and you see how kind of good they sound like this, as soon as I put them down flat like this, it's okay, but it feels like the sound is vibrating in there, but it doesn't really have a place to escape. And so what we wanted to do, I tried lifting it up, but really what we need to do is we need to let everything resonate. We need to let the sound vibrate and the skin vibrate. So what I tried doing, and I know you may not have these, but what I did is I just took rubber tires and I put these on the ground like a stand and then I put it on here. So it just lets that sound echo a little bit more. And so now I'm going to do that on my other little guy here and we'll see what we've got. Okay, so now this is good because now I can play a little bit. Okay, I can go back and forth. And I can go back and forth and I have my different sounds. So we allow it to resonate by putting some rubber underneath. Now, here's the fun part. This is what I wanted to try. And if you can build some drums like this, you can just play, make, maybe make some mallets. But I wanted to see if I could make a rhythm machine. Have you ever seen those old pianos, the old time pianos that have like a scroll or those little music boxes that have pegs and they hit a little metal piece or something like that? Um, we want, I wanted to make that one that could play these drums and experiment with different rhythms. So I'm going to put these aside for a second and I'm going to show you. We're going to use to build these, this rhythm machine, we're going to use something very similar to what we've done in the past, if I can find it, hold on, hold on, good fun on my stuff. We are going to first start making a, a hammer. And this hammer is going to be like our mechanical drumstick. So you can see I just made right here a little window and you've, we've done this before. I have a little two by two hole in here, which is made by leaving a space and I put a little tile. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some two by two rounds and I'm going to stick it through like this. And on one side, I have a two by four brick so it doesn't fall through. On the other side, I'm gonna put a four by four plate and stick it on there like this. So now I basically got a little wheel like this. So now I'm gonna, I wanna add a hammer to this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna add on top of my two by four brick, a two by eight brick like this. And then at the very bottom, I'm just adding a long two by four two by plate and if you want it, if you don't have a long one like this you can make your own by just overlapping and connecting some together and then I've got a little mallet at the end so now I can go and this is here because now what I'm gonna do is my machine is gonna is gonna hit this little lever here and we're gonna see if we can start to make a rhythm now to actually make something that can knock this what we're gonna do is we need another wheel that's going to go in a frame. So I made a bigger one because this frame is going to use these four by four rounds like this, these monster ones. And this fits through this hole. And you can see if you don't, if you didn't watch some of my old conveyor belt ones, I basically left a four by hole in the middle. And right in here, I put a, a two by four plate and then a tile on top. And that gives a perfect spacing. If you don't, you could just leave the studs and it'll still work fine. Now, if I stick this through like this, now you can see I can turn. On one side, I just have a six by six plate and another one so I can turn it. And then here is the magic. Now I'm gonna put a eight by eight plate on the other side. And now we're gonna start drawing our rhythm. So you can see here, what I have is in the holes 
and I put it right at the very top center hole, I put a little one by one round. And then on each sides, I put a one by one round. And then on the bottom, I put a one by one round. So what this is, is it's basically our four beats in a measure. A lot of music has four beats. I think Mike maybe mentioned that a little bit yesterday too. So we've got our four beats. So what's going to happen is I want to raise this up a little bit so that when these, when I turn this machine, my little one by one rounds hit that little lever and make my, and activate my hammer. So I need to raise it up a bit. So I'm going to add four more bricks and then stick this on top like this. And let's see if, oh, no, I think we're off. I think I only need three bricks. All right, let's try this. So I'm going to give it a little, let's give it a little stand and let's try this. So now watch what I'm going to do is, oh, is it not hitting? Maybe we only need, oh, let me see. I think I, I overcompensated there. So we only need basically just two bricks in between our frames. So now if I go like this, we've got a beat. Now this is pretty boring. Boom, 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 boom. And it's just one beat, one hit for every beat of the four, of the four beats in the measure. So what we can do now to make it a little more interesting is we can, and let me get, let me just double check this other one here. Oh, I know why, I, why it wasn't working. Here, this is, there's something else I added that makes this work a little better. And I totally forgot about it. I actually don't want to have my, my little things hit directly on this brick. I have this plate. I put one one by plate on the back of this thing like this. That's why it wasn't why it wasn't reaching. And this actually works way better if you have the plate up there. So let's try this now. Hold on, hold on. Let me build my thing back and get my little my little bopper here. And now let's add these. I think now I need all the bricks that I had shown you before to raise it up. Okay, now I think we're in business. So now we go boom, 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 boom. Now, what's cool is instead of just hitting boom, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we want to add we want to add another possible hit on the upstroke or or kind of double time. So instead of this, one, two, three, four, we want to have this. One and two and three and four and one and two. And the reason why this is cool is because if you accent different beats, boom, 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 and you can see my hands are always doing this. Boom, 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 boom. You can do a lot of different rhythms with that. So what I want to do is actually add four more halfway in between these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in. You can see what I'm doing is I'm kind of making a little circle. So I'm using the actual round circles on the bottom of my plate and I'm putting them in there like this. And so I'm going to see if I can put one in between here like that and one in between here like this and one in between here like this. So now I've got eight. So if I go like this, ding, two, three, four, five. And now, if I, the, what it gets cool is if I take one or two out. So I'm just going to go like this and take some of these out. And then see what I've got. Dun, 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 dun. Now, it's very hard with my hand because I've got to keep this turning exactly on time. And so it can be very tricky. So what I did is I have a little motor. And so I've got my motor here, and this is a fancy battery pack that can adjust my speed a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to this so we can actually start to really hear these rhythms and start to experiment. So let's hear this one that we have here. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Go a little faster, maybe. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Now, if I stop it and I take out one of these or move it over, let's just take one out and listen to it now. Da, 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 da. Now, here's where it gets really cool is if you make multiple of these. So watch what we've done here. Now we've got number two over here. So now I'm going to take this off 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bunch of bricks in between here. So these two, basically these two rhythms are going to be linked together. So when one turns, the other one is going to turn. So let me see if I can do this. Let me unmotorize it. Take this hammer off. Sneak it on the side, and I'm going to attach these things together like this. All right, and push this down. Now, I am just going to, uh, now here I have, again, all eight beats, I think, on this one. I'm just going to randomly take some off. I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe I'll take this one off, too. Okay? So, again, it always has that same spacing, but only some of them are have have a, a one by one round and so that's when the hammer is going to be hit so let's try this let me hook it up back up to my and if you don't have a motor you can still play with it watch if i go like this okay and then let me see if i'm gonna i might move some of these around so they hit on opposite time of each other Okay, so let's power this up and see how this how this one sounds. You ready? Here we go. So it's pretty cool. And then what I can do also is I can see if I can change it around and get a rhythm that I really like. Now, we can speed it up or slow it down by just how fast we turn the motor. Let me change some of these and see if we can get one that we like. And sometimes the hammers hit together, sometimes they don't. So let me see, let's, let's power this one up and see how this one goes. So you can see, and they're always surprises. Unless when you get good, you can actually really experiment with where you put the little one by one rounds and actually write a song. Otherwise, you could just mess with it and see what it comes up with. Okay, I think I want one more here. Let's just try this. Let me go a little faster. Oh, that's pretty cool. When it goes faster, it actually catches when there's a lot of notes in between. Okay, let's see if we can make these play that. So now what I'm going to do, I've got some big old bricks here. Let me see if this works. I'm going to bring these. I'm going to bring this up here. All right. Let me see. I might need two of these. All right. I've got my hammer way up high now. And now I'm going to bring drum number one over to mallet number one. Okay, let's see if this is good. All right, are you there, friend? Let me see. Okay, let me turn this on and see if it's going. Oh shoot, this popped off. Okay, so that's working okay. So let me get the other one in, in place and we'll see if we can have double, double tones here. All right, so I got my other hammer here. All right. I think we're good. Make sure everything's hooked up. I'm a little precarious here, but let's see if this goes here. All right, here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, my arm is running away from me. All right, let's get this attached. I think I need a little bit of a little more support under here, just to make sure everything's together. No, that's not going to work. All right. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Make sure this is down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's pretty fun and you can just keep experimenting with different formations. Remove one here. Put one here and experiment and see what you got. And that is that. So, if you want to at home, if you're able to come up with any stringed instruments, percussion instruments like this, you don't have to make a full machine like this, but again, this machine took no Technic parts except for the motor. 
And so you could experiment with writing your own rhythm using, using a sequence of eight little dots going around in a, in a circle that power these little hammers and play. And if you could get a video of you making any little rhythm or tune or anything, and remember to share it to hashtag play well at home. And Mike and I would love to see it. And hopefully Mike, one of these days, we could be in the same room and jam together. So everybody, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful weekend, be safe, and we'll see you next time.